is a community service of the New York Institute of Technology. Covering the news of Nassau and Suffolk County's Long Island News Tonight with Ken Eckhart, Carol Pack, and the award-winning Ally News Team. Good evening, I'm Carol Pack with a special edition of LI News Tonight. Most of our homes use electricity that's generated by fossil fuel, but when fossil fuel is burned, carbon dioxide is released and scientists say it's trapped by the atmosphere causing the Earth's temperature to increase. It's known as the greenhouse effect, and according to energy experts, 40% of the Earth's carbon dioxide emissions come from homes and buildings. Energy analysts say our dependence on fossil fuel has to end if we want to save our planet, and one of the ways to do that is by using alternative energy energy sources for heat and electricity. To promote that idea, there's an annual, a uh, biannual international competition sponsored by the U.S. Department of Energy and the National Renewable Energy Laboratory. It's called the Solar Decathlon, and it promotes the use of solar power by inviting teams of architecture students to design build and operate energy efficient solar powered houses. Tonight we're going to take a look at a house built right here on Long Island by the New York Institute of Technology for a solar decathlon. It takes teamwork to build a house that's going to be energy efficient without sacrificing comfort or convenience. And that's just what this team of students and faculty from the New York Institute of Technology is doing at the school's old Westbury campus. It's a project they're calling Open House. An open house is uh, basically what it, what, it, what it says. It's open to everything, open to ideas, open to living arrangements, open to all sorts of, uh, of ways one wants to live. To use a solar house suggests the possibility that you can live in a controlled environment without taking and so much away from the earth. This open house is competing with similar structures in a solar decathlon. The competition is broken down into 10 different contests and students told us why they think NYIT has a competitive edge. Because it requires many fields of interest, architecture, engineering, interior design, culinary, communications, marketing, business, and NYIT is a school that has every one of those majors. The project brings together a team of 75 students from different areas of expertise, like interior design. I developed the design scheme and uh, color scheme, so design scheme for the furniture, uh, where we try to work with sustainable materials, multifunctional uh, pieces for everybody, pleasant for the eye and functional for the daily use. Well, it is a very small space, so we had to look at how to maneuver around the furniture circulation-wise and, you know, to accommodate uh, furniture of such a scale to fit inside the house. And communication arts who chronicle the progress. I think we all feel that the solar decathlon is much, much more, that we will, that these, this, this type of design um, will be instituted in, in uh, buildings across the country very, very soon. As well as architecture. I helped the construction documentation team produce the, the drawings that they use to actually build this house. That's a lot of contributors who have to learn to work together. As you're trying to make decisions as a team, it's hard because everybody has different ideas and sometimes they conflict. And, you know, sometimes you're like, okay, we need to make a decision on something. Otherwise, you know, we're, we're going to find ourselves, you know, going down to D.C. and not having the project complete. You know, that's what's hard about it. There are some requirements. The structure must be entirely powered by the sun. Its foundation can't be permanent because the house needs to be transportable, not just to get it to Washington, D.C. for the solar decathlon, but also to demonstrate its use as a temporary emergency shelter. Our house can be placed as a, a mobile transportable unit to aid in disaster relief situations. In times of natural disaster, solar power is really the only option that you can have because Katrina, that left people victim to no electric power whatsoever. So if you have a house 
that isn't getting any power from the grid, it's better to produce your own power. So after a year of research and development, the design team's ideas were put to the test. Parts were ordered, wooden foundation piers and deck footings were set in place. And finally, in spring 2007, the steel frame of NYIT's open house was delivered and construction began. Here comes the sun. It's a very exciting thing. As you may know, we've done this once before. We placed fifth, and we tied for design with Cornell for third place, which was really great. Students say their design unites interior and exterior spaces by using bifold windows called nano walls that completely open up the interior to the great outdoors. Together with the architecture team, we developed a, the uh, possibility of having a big deck around the house, having the nano walls, uh, having a space which uh, goes from outside to the inside and vice versa. Another important key element of this space is having an overhang outside because having a south window wall, this space will heat up and we need to um, uh, be careful to the microclimate that we have inside. The team used structural insulated panels and spray and polyurethane foam that, according to one graduate student, gives this house an R40 energy rating. He says typical homes usually have a rating only half as high. And then there's the central core. We have this one central core that's kind of the, the focus point for all the mechanical, the electrical and plumbing systems in the house. And what this core will do, will, will feed the living space of all the necessities of life, uh, your hot water, your electricity, and all of, all of that. We'll return to Open House when LI News Tonight continues.